video is going to be a collective haul video and I am so excited to finally, finally film this video. I have been collecting some of this stuff for the last couple of weeks and I'm just so happy that I finally get to sit down and film this and I don't know what it is about buying stuff and then showing it off that just makes it so much better but I went to a couple different stores. I think I went to Target, um, Lush, Bath and Body Works, and a couple places like that. So I'll just go ahead and get right to the makeup items. Okay, so the first store I went to was Target, and I love my Target. I can never get enough. So I decided to get the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Lip Gloss slash Color Stain, and I. Whoa, that's so tiny. I got it in the color... I can't read it, but I got it in a really um, rosy, pinky color. And I actually thought it was going to be a lot lighter on my lips. I don't know why exactly, but when I put it on, I was like, whoa, that's really intense. It stayed on my lips from 8.30 in the morning till about 6 p.m. And that was through eating, that was through drinking coffee and all of the above. I never once had to reapply the color and it stayed on wonderfully. So another item that I have been wanting to try from Target ever since I saw Love Melissa Michelle's video is the L'Oreal Color Rich La Matte and Lac Lipstick Formulas. And honestly, if you have not seen her video, it is the funniest video. And I know it's not intended to be funny. It's just hilarious watching her do a first impressions on this. So I will link it down below for you guys to watch. But I bought one La Matte and one La Lac to just try out. Obviously, the La Matte is more of a matte finish. Um, no shine at all. I would recommend putting a gloss um, or like a balm underneath your lips or underneath this <laughs> before you put this on because it is a uh, pretty drying but the color is let's see if I can read this she's so matte and it looks almost like a lip pencil and it just kind of rolls up like that it's a beautiful beautiful color and it's um, a little again more intense than what I thought it was gonna be this one is Laconic and it's in the Lilac finish, so it's a very, very glossy formula. And when you put it on, it looks like you're wearing a lip gloss, but you're really not, you're just wearing this. This one, I like the color. My only complaints is that the formula, at least for this one, is really, really sticky. So, you know, when you go like that, I feel like my lips stick together, and when I go to smile. It like sticks to my teeth even when I do you know like the finger pull trick it still sticks to my teeth so I don't know if I just have like a really big smile but um, but the colors are amazing and they're definitely worth giving a try so I would go out and get you some okay so the second store I went to was Walgreens and they had a lot of good fall colors for makeup I wanted to pick up a new Maybelline quad and if you don't know how these are um, they would they work really really well they're very very pigmented they give great great payoff in color so um, if you haven't tried them definitely go check it out this one is made for mauve and the colors are it's a light pink a light purple a uh, hunter green and then a dark purple here and I saw this palette it just kind of screamed fall to me. I also wanted to pick up a gel eyeliner and I have never tried a gel eyeliner before and I've heard that they're easier to work with and I always have a hard time with eyeliner because my eyes are hooded so no matter what type of eyeliner I put on unless it's pencil maybe but if I put anything else on it just like transfers to the my hood and like the top of my eyelid so it's really annoying and I really don't like wearing eyeliner but I did want to try the gel eyeliner so I got the L'Oreal blackest black lacquer liner and it just looks like that and um came with a little brush and everything I've used it a couple times and it's pretty good I will say it does transfer as far as I'm concerned to my upper lid 
but it is because I have hooded eyes. So, so also at Walgreens, I was looking for some nail polishes that kind of screamed fall, and I found two. And one of them is the Nicole OPI, and this one is Cinnamon of My Dreams. Ooh. So this one is just more of a copper shimmery uh, nail polish, and the color looks up absolutely gorgeous in the bottle. I am such a sucker for like these copper colors. Oh my god, they just look so good on the nails. And the second nail polish I got was from Essie, and it is called After School Boy Blazer. And this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, rich, deep blue. It's almost a black when you put it on your nails, and there's something about wearing like a dark, dark color on my nails that I think just looks so good. So I'm actually wearing this in my previous video if you wanted to see how it looks. So I'll link that down below for you. But it is a fabulous, fabulous color and the formula is great. I only need one coat. So this was probably my most favorite purchase out of this whole haul that I did within this last couple of weeks. And it was from Sigma. So the first one is the flat definer. E15 brush and primarily you just use this for your bottom lash line if you want to just pack on color and I guess you can use it for your upper lash line too but it's just a flat definer brush and it works really well I'm glad I got it the next brush I have been dying to get ever since I started putting on makeup and I don't know why it took me so long it is the pencil E30 brush this really gets into your crease area and it really allows you to kind of make that V shape that you want to get my last brush that I picked up was the blending brush which is the E25 and this one too has been on my want list for a while and I have a bigger fluffier blending brush but because my eyes are hooded and they're smaller, when I use the bigger one, it just kind of blends everywhere. As opposed to this, where I can get more of a controlled blend because it's a lot smaller, it's more dense, so I can really get into my crease and kind of um, fade out what I really want to fade out as opposed to just fading the whole thing out. So the next stop on my haul was Lush. And I got these items in mind because I watched Shan XO's video when she did her Lush haul, I think it was. And there were two items that just really caught my eye and I wanted to give them a try. So this is the first one. It is a lip scrub and I got it in mint juleps. And pretty much all, you, all it's used for is exfoliating your lips. So what you do is you just lick your lips, you take a little bit of this and you rub it on your lips. And when you're finished, um, you just lick your lips off and it tastes amazing. So a second item that I picked up at Lush was Lovely Jubblies. And that name just sounds funny. You just want to laugh when you say it. It is a breast cream. And it's just a lotion for your neck and your breast area. And you just put it on at night time when you get out of the shower you rub it all on and you don't want to apply too much because this is a pretty small container and I think this was like 30 bucks. I smelt it at the store and in the packaging it smells gross. To me it smells gross and I was like man I really wanted to try that but it doesn't smell very good so I asked the guy and I said you know do you have like another smelling scent of this because I really want to try it so he goes listen He's like, rub it on your skin, on your hand, and then see what it smells like. He's like, because it reacts to everybody's um, different skin types and different body chemistries, and it actually formulates a smell over time. So I did it, and I applied it on my hand, and then I walked around the store for probably about 10 minutes, and every minute I would smell my hand to see if it smelled any differently, and... By the end of the 10 minutes, I wanted to buy this so bad because I smelled like I had just taken 80 bouquets of roses and rolled around in them for those 10 minutes. I smelled so good on my hand. So another store that I have went to on my haul is going to be not surprising for a lot of people, but it was Bath and Body Works. The first one I got was this pumpkin cupcake, and as you can tell, it is already half lit. And the description for this says, 
a freshly baked pumpkin cupcake covered in loads of rich buttercream frosting. This really does smell like a pumpkin cupcake. It smells like you're just baking with something really sweet that has pumpkin in it. Another scent that I got from Bath and Body Works was one that I wasn't um, I wasn't sure that I was going to like it, but it is the pumpkin apple. And this one says, your two favorite fall scents, apple and pumpkin, enhanced by notes of cinnamon and clove. And this one, you can smell a majority apple in it, and it smells so good. I, I, it's hard to describe what this actually smells like, um, except that there's just a strong smell of apple. The last scent I got at Bath & Body Works was Blueberry Pumpkin Patch. And this one says, blueberries fresh from the farm are a perfect match with ripe pumpkins. And this one you primarily smell blueberries. It's almost like blueberry pumpkin muffins because I can smell blueberry muffins in here but with a slight hint of pumpkin. So the last store that was on my haul was Shop Lately, and it is an online store, shoplately.com, and if you haven't been to it, I would definitely, definitely go check it out because, have you seen my necklace? I mean, we can stop and take a look at it. I got this from shoplately.com and this is actually a imitation for a J. Crew necklace. And the Shop Lately website has tons of stuff. They have necklaces, bracelets, earrings, the whole works. And what I love about them is their prices are way, way lower than what you would normally pay for items like these. And they have a lot of statement necklaces, which is really in right now. Another necklace that I picked up from Shop Lately was just this gold chain. And it's a thicker gold chain, which is um, what is typically in style right now also. And it is just great to wear with anything. Um, I think this one was $12.00. And the packaging when it shipped was super, super cute. I wish I saved it, but it's super lightweight. So when you wear it, you really don't feel like you're wearing a necklace at all because of the material. It's a really, really great chain. And this, I mean, it's just breathtaking. If you want to see this on the website, I will link that link directly down below. And I think this one was 21 Alright guys, so that was my collective haul that I have been collecting stuff for the last couple of weeks. I'm so excited to share them with all of you. I hope maybe you run out and pick up some of these items and try them for yourself. And if you do, just let me know down in the comments below of how you like them because I have been loving everything so far. I bought them and I couldn't wait to try them out so I have been trying them for the last couple of weeks. If you have any questions about anything, just let me know. And until next time guys, I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.